In today's video, we'll cover how to drain down your heating system when you have a combi boiler. This is really handy to know when doing DIY across your home. Before we start, I must stress the importance of knowing what you're doing and how to do it before going ahead and doing this process. If at any point in this video you feel overwhelmed or confused, for sure, ask questions down below, but don't attempt this until you're 100% sure you know what you're doing. Worst case scenario, ring a professional and let them do the dirty work for you. For this tutorial, you will need a hose pipe, probably some kitchen rolls, some towels, a bucket, a spanner, and a bleeding key or flathead screwdriver. To drain down a combi boiler, we aren't gonna go near the boiler at all. We're actually gonna work on the radiators inside your property. Let's begin by turning off your boiler. Do this at the boiler itself using its power buttons or just turn it off at the fuse spur below, above, or to the side of your boiler. You need to make sure your boiler is definitely off as leaving the boiler on during this process is a recipe for disaster. Once your boiler is off, we need to allow enough time for the water inside your system to cool down. Water inside your system is normally around 60 to 80 degrees so you don't want your hose pipe coming off the valve and spilling 60 degree water all over your home. This can not only hurt, but it can be a pain in the ass to clean up. Next, you want to locate your drain valve. This is normally on your lowest radiator. So have a sweep of your home and try and find a radiator valve that looks different to the rest. It normally has two outputs, one going back into the wall to feed the other radiators and another one that is normally tightened up. This is where we'll attach our hose and eventually open up the valve. In some homes, the heating system is separated on different halves of your house. You may have multiple drain valves across your home. Be sure to check the entire lowest floor in your property for any more than one drain valve. If you do find two, you know you've got a split inside your system and you'll have to drain both sides. In some cases, you may find your drain valve is outside the property, so you don't have to worry about spillages too much. Attach your hose to the drain valve and move a bucket underneath just for any spillages. Lead the other end of the hose outside of your property to a grid, drain, or just your garden in worst case scenario. Now it's time to open up the valve using your spanner and be sure to listen out for the other end of the hose to hear the water flowing through. It's great if you can have a second pair of eyes, one at the other end of the hose to see the water coming out and one on the valve to make sure there's no spillages into the bucket. Straight off the bat, if you notice a lot of spillages going into the bucket, you need to push the hose further onto the valve. Also make sure there are no kinks in the hose as this can stop the water from flowing out the other end. Once you see or hear water coming out the other end of the hose, you know you're on for a good start. Allow a few minutes for the system to drain and eventually the flow of water will come to a halt. Now this does not mean your system is empty, so you have to go upstairs and bleed the radiators to allow more air in to the radiators. As the air flows into the radiator, it pushes the water from the upstairs layer of your house down into the lower floor. This is when it will go into your drain valve, down the hose and out into your garden. Be sure to make sure you bleed every radiator on the upstairs floors to make this work. After that, head back downstairs and do the same for the downstairs radiator to make sure there's no excess water inside the system. Make sure all bleed points are tightening up after doing this. Tighten up the drain valve, remove the hose and the bucket. Your system is now drained. As mentioned before, please only do this if you're feeling confident about the process. If you have any questions or queries, do leave them in the comments down below, but don't start this until you're 100% sure you know what you're doing. In worst case scenario, call out an engineer, call out a plumber and get this done properly. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. This has been Our Heat.